Hello, I'm Hon, and I'm going to introduce our project. Further series are used in the analysis of periodic functions. Many of the phenomena studied in engineering and science are periodic. For example, the current and voltage in an alternating current circuit. These periodic functions can be analyzed into their constituent components, which are fundamentals and harmonies through forest analysis. A forest series is a periodic function composed of harmonically related sinusoids combined by a vector summation with appropriate weights. One cycle, or we call period, of the summation can be made to approximate an arbitrary function in that interval or the entire function if it too is periodic. As such, the summation is a synthesis of another function. Other than that, this project is also related to low-pass filters. A low-pass filter is a filter that passes signals below a selected cut-off frequency and attenuates signals higher than the cut-off frequency. Also, this filter is an alternative to a high-pass filter. This filter also provides a tranquil signal form and leaves the long-term track behind the analysis used in electronics and communications also by forward. Most waveforms have primarily frequency and harmony energy. From this project, we have to construct a low-pass filter. A low-pass filter is a filter that transmits signals lower than a specified cut-off frequency and alternate signals higher than the cut-off frequency. The value of cut-off frequency depends on the design of the filter. For method, we need to create these components incorporating the applicator criteria that follow. Hi, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Dr. Ali Benase. CE190156 uh, from group number one. I will present our um, uh, software simulation for project using MATLAB. So we can see here uh, our code. So all of this uh, we get from our manual calculation. Yes, uh, T uh, C N A N B N C N, all of this uh, from our manual calculation. So here we we use function uh, a plot for for the equation uh, here. So this is for equation. So we plot T T uh, and T S T over T T. Is made up from this, so we, we plot our this uh, value. So let's uh, we run. Uh, <coughs> okay, uh, we got the plot a uh, different number of harmonic. We can see here. Uh, the graph, uh, the blue one is uh, 5 harmonic, uh, red 10 harmonic, and yellow for 20 harmonic. So let's uh, we move to uh, to plot a phase spectrum and amplitude spectrum. So here we can see our uh, value. Uh, same with this because. Uh, we use value from uh, calculation, manual calculation. So let's uh, we run. So let's we run it. Okay, uh, here we can see the uh, amplitude uh, spectrum and phase spectrum. Okay, uh, th that's all from me. Thank you. Uh, hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Noazri Benozari, CE10166. Okay, uh, I will continue with uh, question 2. So, I will do a low pass filter. So, for the value of uh, FC uh, that has given with uh, from our lecturer, we 
which is uh, 10 kilohertz and the value of fs is uh, we do a calculation from fc divided by 4 so fc is 10 kilohertz divided by 4 so we got 2.5 kilohertz so we put into uh, this command here and we run okay so you can see here the graph uh, frequency response of low pass filter okay uh, next uh, we uh, with question to see which is a comparison between times domain and frequency domain for time domain rise time is it is the time required to rise from 0 to 100 percent of the final value for the under damp system second delay time it is the time required for the response to reach 50 percent of the final value in first attempt third peak time it is the time required for the response to reach the peak of time response or the peak of a shoot and the fourth steady state error it is indicate the error between the actual output and the desired output st tend to infinity for the frequency domain first resonant frequency which is frequency at which resonant peak occur second resonant peak where maximum value of the closed loop transfer function third bandwidth range of frequency for which the system normalized gain is more than negative 3 db and the fi and for fi final cut off rate where it is the slope of the log magnitude curve near the cut off frequency so here you can see the example si signal of time domain and frequency domain okay thank you Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ahmad Zuzamri bin Mahmayusu My metric number is DE190096 So now I would like to present for question number 3 The question number 3 is How to show that the input respond for the first order low pass filter And the cut off frequency for the low pass filter this is the question the cut off frequency for each group is 5 times the frequency of your signal in class 2 and now, now I would like to show the manual calculation for class 2 first uh, how to show the uh, impulse respond for the first order low pass uh, this is uh, the formula uh, was given by question 1 over 1 plus j 2 pi rc and we be described to 1 over rc j w plus 1 and for the frequency cut off we use the frequency is 50 kilohertz and for the system we use 2k and we use the formula 1 over 2 by rc will be given by equation and we will put in this formula the last answer is for cut off is 1.59 nanofarad Okay, all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Ali Shami bin Mazahi, and we'll explain about the result of the low pass filter in using Proteus software application. So basically, this is the result, but uh, we made it by construct this circuit, which the uh, resistor we input the value to kilo ohms and the capacitor is 1.59 nanofarad and then we 
need a ground in the circuit and also the signal and this part of uh, device we need to input to the graph so we can evaluate uh, what is the outcome of the low pass filter when we run so after we run it this is uh, the graph that basically uh, appears when we run so this is the low pass filter and then uh, thank you a periodic function t is represented by an infinite sum of sine and cosine functions that are harmonically related the frequency of any trigonometry term within the infinite series is an integral multiply of harmonics of the periodic function's fundamental frequency. Since the function is expound to sine and cosine via Euler relation, the trigonometric kind of follow series can be represented in a more general form of exponential. It proves that the manual calculation answer might be compared with the solution found using the MATLAB software. Additionally, MATLAB can also show the waveform of the signals. For this project conclusion, we are able to find the forest series expansion for the signal and transfer the result into MATLAB script to obtain both time domain and frequency domain. The lecturer gives a domain graph with the periodic signal. Furthermore, we are managed to show the impulse response for the first order low pass filter by constructing a low pass filter using both for software and hardware with frequency response characteristic and managing to analyze the filter output in both times and frequency domain.